Hey everybody. Hey, this is um, this 3D guy showing some of the new work I've done. Uh, I felt that it was probably a good place to, could be very useful to have some video game machines that are all that are pristine, pristine condition, and in a dirty, grungy, apocalyptic kind of damaged. There's the fully damaged ones. This is the full pack I made. There's uh, four four packs. This is the full pack with all of them, and then there's three packs if you just need a few of them, or uh, hey, if you want to try them out, you can do that. But hey, thank you very much for showing interest. I um, really appreciate it. Uh, it takes a lot of work to do this and get these completely right and, and to the standard of which I like. Because I want them to be as quick and easy for people to use. So each one of these only has one texture set each. Um, these are cut into two. They're, they're, kind, they're kind of together, but they're, they, can be, they can be separated out as two. Um, that's why I kind of rendered them out as two. Everyone else is pretty much can move around. But then you got these guys. Look at that. Look at that. Just ramshackled ones. Just totally damaged. I just wanted to give a little view. Um, we, um, this is a blender, so I have the now. Not only do I have the different types and for different systems, but the blender one you're going to be able to open up immediately once you download it and load it in. This is um, 4.1, but you they'll they'll work really in anything. They're, they're not they're they don't really have anything, but you might you might need to uh, turn your opacity on to get this. And, and I mean, if you're familiar with Blender, you'll, you'll understand. You're going to have to turn the opacity off maybe for every one, but except for the game engine. But uh, also set them up into uh, uh, Unity uh, HD. And this just kind of, uh, just to show you kind of what... Um, it's going to look like inside the game engine too because it's just really important you can you can look at the renders and you can look at the topology and that's fine but to see them actually inside of the they're never rendered you never save and display the renders from a game engine so because i just feel these are really good for would be good for game engines and i make everything really optimized so they can be used in game engines without any problems these can be duplicated over and over again super efficient but um once again thank you thanks again for coming by i really really appreciate the interest um i hope that there is something here that you like and uh if you want to give me a like i'd really appreciate it on there um, and just kind of just kind of thanks a lot thanks a lot for coming by and even checking out what's going on okay you have a great night and wonderful